Oh my god, you know I love palm trees. You never know where we are. We are in the middle of coconut farm. You can't get more palm trees anywhere than this. So basically, this is <laughs> Haisan Coconut Farm. Haisan is the name of the owner. He's got us a little taxi, his little yeah. motorbike. But yeah, when you have your coconuts in Bangkok, this is where they come from. So we, this is a um, Paisan farm, yeah. and that's Mr. Paisan. Oh, Paisan. Oh, oh, so Adika. Right, we're getting a taxi to the farm. Check this out. <laughs> Did you get a good seat? Yeah. 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 We are all on this. If you're new here, we are Danny and Diggy, an English-Polish couple from the UK. We have quit our jobs to follow our dream of exploring Thailand for the next year. If you love good food, views, beaches, and want to see more of this beautiful country, join, join us on, on our journey. I'm so excited. I love coconut trees. I love coconut. I love palm trees. It looks lovely in here. I'm sorry I'm getting a little bit overexcited, but I love coconut. Coconut, it's my favorite flavor of all. People like chocolate, people like mango, mine is coconuts. That's why I'm getting so excited. So what we do here, we're gonna have the coconut. If you want some food, they have the food to serve mm -hmm. only the weekend. And they will take us on the boat, small boat to go around this oh, as no well. Way. I'll put my feet in. Yeah. I like it here. <laughs> I love it here. It's nice, isn't it? Oh yeah, follow the car. It's yeah. so nice. You're just sitting in a shade on a little seat here or little cushions. We just ordered some fresh coconut and some coconut ice cream coming soon as well. Where did you find this one, Dan? Excited. This is a good spot. Thanks, Dan. This is really cool, really cool actually. I say it's not so. Dan researched the basically somewhere where all the Thai people go just to go and check out the coconuts, have all the fresh coconuts, ice cream. They do food here as well, but only food on weekends. But it's so relaxing here, so quiet. I love it, it's cool. I'm the coconut man. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, we are at Pai San Farm, which is the place that you could come for the coconut. If you're looking for the fresh coconut, get a bit of feeling, sit down and relax, chill by the weekend or weekday, just come here. You can see that this canal is really long until at the end, right? If you come, you know what this is for. It's not just for the relax, but it's actually for the use of the coconut when you cut it down, how to transport it to one place. Um, and we got these two things, which is really good. The fresh coconut here, as I mentioned, this is where you have it. Um, in Bangkok, it's actually come from here. But if you come here, it's just cut off from the tree, so it's 100% fresh. Plus, we have this something really special, but it's sweet. Um, it's made out of coconut stem. It's so good, so they cut it off to make the water for you, the juice for you. Um, it can be expensive, but Thai expensive, it's 60 baht. How much in pounds? Well, one pound 50. 50? Yeah, uh, let's say one pound. That's a drink of one pound. But it is expensive for Thai, right? Right, thanks Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that was explained by Dan. So yeah, it's an expensive drink, really. But as you say, you lose so many coconuts just to make one just bottle Just to make this. one bottle, unbelievable. So that's why it's yeah. a bit more pricey than your average coconut. Can I try some? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh wow! It's a different taste. It's flowery, isn't it? It's very flowery. Oh wow! If you would, me. Yeah. if you would tell me, I would never this think this is um, coconut. That's crazy. 
Yeah, really good. Really, really sweet. It tastes a bit elderflowery. It tastes yes. like, do you know what I mean? It tastes it's very, very it? yeah, it's very, very, very floral. Coconut shoe. So we've got some coconut pudding here. Coconut pudding. That's how the lady was saying. I'm <laughs> just copy the accent. But what is in here is actually cow's milk with bits of coconut and coconut jelly. The coconut jelly just literally dissolves in your mouth. Mm, so good and sweet, very refreshing. Coconut chunks as well. Mm. This is actually really good. Next thing we got here, we're starting from dessert, but check this out. Ooh, ooh, check this out. This is literally jelly in there. Coconut flesh with jelly. How cool is that? So yeah, I'm getting a little bit over excitable in here. This is delicious. You should order this. Mmm. That actually coconut jelly is really nice. It's actually jelly made out of coconut water. That's what I can taste. Take each of them and eat it all together. Look at that. That's the good one. I like that. Oh wow. Another thing. It's deep fried coconut meat. This is actually amazing. That's super good. Yeah. So just remember this one because when we go to the next place where you're going for the burnt coconut uh, Basically you see the thickness of the meat on this. You see my finger compared to it. When we go to the next place Basically the meat inside kind of jellifies and it goes literally half if not quarter the size of this And I've heard you can actually just scoop it with your hands. Whereas here, this is still quite solid as you see. So when we go to the next place We will see the difference We got omelette, so we got tomato, chili. Oh, we got is that oh, prawn in there as well. Boom. So, next, next dish we've got here is omelette with young coconut. Yes, this looks really interesting too. It's a little bit spicy, you can't taste the coconut at all. It has the bite, you can feel the chew on it, but you can't taste it at all. It doesn't taste the coconut, so it's a bit strange. But for me, just a normal omelette, I think. Yeah, mm. Mm. but still nice. Just look how beautiful it is around here. It's just the palm trees are around us everywhere. There's massive long trees, massive forests of palm trees. I just love this place, honestly. I just, I'm in heaven. <laughs> Check this out, we're getting on that boat in a minute. <laughs> don't, th don't think this day can get any better than that. Bye guys! Bye! Yeah. <laughs> See you in Bangkok! I'm going some coconuts. <laughs> so basically what we're in now, you can see, is these channels are not only just for watering and irrigation also if you think about it it's really clever is all they do is chop down the coconuts fall into the water and you can transport them really easy there's a tip for you <laughs> this is very wobbly yeah <laughs> you can't move very much i'm trying to stay very still When? Behind you now. Oh. There's a bridge. Mind your head. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a coconut machine. Check this out. That's how you get the coconut skin off. Ah. 
blinking. Hello, Mika. Hello. Super fresh coconut. Mm. Okay. I tell you what, they don't. That's okay. They don't even have the electric in here yet. They use solar. 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 Oh, solar. solar. That's the reason why they don't have the coffee machine yet. Ah. <laughs> but Right, we're having so far absolutely amazing day. So much to do. Dan organized absolutely amazing trip for us. So lucky. Lovely people, lovely food. So much fun. And we're exploring so many new things. we experiencing so many new things. We're exploring so much more around Bangkok. I love it. This is only uh, maybe an hour of Bangkok. Hour max, yeah. This is area of Ampoa. Yeah. And so, yeah. look what's around us. <laughs> No traffic, no one zooming past, <laughs> no beeping. Just leaving now, Gary is heading back to Bangkok, so he's leaving us at the moment, but you're going to still see him in the next few episodes probably. Uh, but yeah, we had amazing time in Coconut Farm. We still got a few more places to go, so stay tuned because more is coming. สวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะเอ้าเขาอยากชิมข้างร้อนแกเย็นอุ่นมันมีนิดหน่อยนะสวัสดีค่ะสวัสดีค่ะเอ้าเขาอยากชิม
you can't really peel it off. No. You have to try this. This the burnt coconut and it's still warm. It just came out from the fire from here. Just a minute ago, literally. She said that like two minutes ago they just stopped burning them. But it is amazing. It's so sweet. The warm it gives you that warm like a oh warmy goodness. I don't know. <laughs> it's it's so good. I can't I look I'm lost for words, honestly. If you ever come across those little coconuts without the green skin, burnt ones, you have to try it because it tastes completely different than a young coconut. It's so good. I'm not sharing this one by the way. I want some. Mm -mm. And you've got all this flesh inside. Oh wow, look. You can actually peel. Look, I get my hand in behind and peel yeah. the whole coconut. But apparently, when you buy these in Bangkok, this is not possible to do this. But wow, look at that. Check it out. I can peel the whole thing. <laughs> That's cool. A little bit of info for you. If you're in Bangkok and you want to see if it's a real burnt coconut, do this, right? If it's properly done, you should be able to peel it. And now, you see this? If you can't do that, then it's probably boiled and it's not proper burnt coconut. Hello! Look what he did! There you go. Completely empty. <laughs> That's cool. Eat it. Mm -hmm. That's so good as well. Mm -hmm. This is like a coconut sandwich. You could fill with the pandan inside. That would be amazing. Ah, eat it. Mmm. I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. Mmm. I love it. It's so good. Mmm. <laughs>